days traveling, but I think we're finally here. We're gonna go ahead and check in and then hopefully be able to join into some of this fun. Yeah, I can check you in. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, I said, you know, I made the reservation. I said, we need full hookups. I get there, she says, you have full hookups, you just don't have sewer. That's not full hookups. No, sewer is full hookup. So she said we could go through any of these orange sites, which might be near one of our sites. So if we keep going, we might be able to dump at like 600. I think we're gonna need to dump, aren't we? I'll dump and then I'll move into our space. I need to know when to turn. I can't tell what space is what going backwards. Okay, you see this spot right here? Turn into it. Uh oh. Can you see it? No, I couldn't tell which one because I couldn't tell which one because it's so long. Just don't hit me. I never do. Okay, turn around. You should move more to the left. You are doing awesome. You are doing fantastic. You are the best RV driver ever. I know. Yeah, you notice I didn't say modest. All right, go ahead and level. All right, folks, so took a lot. We finally made it. I'm happy. I'm stressed, but I'm happy, and I'm really looking forward to spending some time with some great people. So we just got invited to have some pink panties. Yeah, I know that sounds weird, but you know, it'll all be figured out with the real weekend warriors and we can't find them. Um, we are lost. I know where I am. I don't know. You don't know where you, you don't are. know where you go. Do, do you know how to find them? Um, keep where, walking where are around they? until we find them. Where, where are they? I'm going this way. Crack. I just don't know where they are. I think they're over on that road. Is that they're over there somewhere? They're over on that road. Okay, leave it to us to get lost in a campground just two rows over and we can't find somebody. I'm gonna blame John. Uh, no, you it's can't. Always, it's always John's fault when things go yeah. wrong. It's always my fault when they go right. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I am really apologetic. I, we're just, we're a mess. <laughs> Once you get to know us, you'll know we're a real mess. A real mess. That's oh, them. That's them. We walked right by it. <laughs> All right, so I think we found it. This is the Marine, right? Right there, right there, right there. The Marine, where is he? The Marine, right? The guy who's supposed to know how to find it. Oops, he just turned around, he's looking at me. Oh. Hi, John. They are sampling pink panties, the summertime drink. Award-winning. Award-winning. Yes. Nonetheless, John. Ooh. This is good. Oh, wow. Really, John? Is it that good? There's alcohol in here? Yes. Oh, this is one of those that sneaks up on yes. you. Yes. Let me tell you the ingredients. It has Seagram's Gin. Wow. Jack Daniels Tennessee I Honey. I love that. Jack Daniels. splash of orange juice. Okay. Frozen pink lemonade. Okay. Frozen strawberry or fresh strawberries. Blend that in uh, crushed ice, and then when you get it like a smoothie like that, you add in Cool Whip to thicken it up. Mm. I've got to try this. this oh my gosh! <laughs> this is good. This is really good. How'd you come up with this? Yes, it's secret tip. <laughs> So now the real question. Yes. I don't usually drink a lot of alcohol. Maybe once in a while a glass of wine. How strong is this? Like, is this gonna surprise me? You'll be all right with one. Okay. <laughs> Two will sneak up on you. Okay. And if you go any further than that, I don't take any responsibility. <laughs> John, you'll have to show me the way home. I will. Although we got lost on the way here. We did. I got a haircut. That's right. Probably That's right, special. Sherry. Oh, my battery's right, dying. Guys, oh, uh, 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 mine's not. <laughs> you guys have a good run time back here at the battery. Glam Out yes. in Ohio, the Adventure Band Glam Out. We are having we are. a ball. Yep, right. it's oh. great just to be around our 
friends, our I new know, friends, our right? old friends. Yes. So yeah, we're what y'all what you all have there? Uh, we have the all time famous Victor Small <laughs> Pantry. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, you all enjoy. <laughs> And we are having such a good time. I'm going to introduce you to the Adventure Bandits. If you don't know them, you need to hop over to their channel because they do the coolest campground reviews. They go to the most awesome places. Well, my name is Ashanti. And I'm Talmadge. And we are the Adventure Bandits. We love camping. We love to also meet great people and bring like-minded individuals together. Um, I think the camping community is an amazing community. And if you are not camping, please give it a try or you can live vicariously through your YouTube campers. And shout out to Amp the Glamp for yes. coming to the Glamp yes. all day. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure having you guys here. And we love your guys' energy. Yes. That is something like, that I, I like, we I like really, comedic, really like. The comedic action between yeah, you two. Yeah, we love it. So you guys <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. Yes. You're doing a great job. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. And we're just having a great time. And thank you for uh, having this whole event. Yep. Thank you. It's time for bingo. That's all right. I'll get to that right there. I'm going to cheat. Yeah. How are you going to cheat at bingo? I'm going to steal his numbers. If he wins, I'm going to steal his car. <laughs> yeah, you are. Wait, I'm doing it out like this. <laughs> Put the hey, clap up. Hey, I mean, is this what the cool people do? I'm just being a minute. Wait, I'm going to put my whole thing up like that. How's that? That's because you're a sailor. <laughs> you sailor like this? <laughs> I'm in combat mode. Everybody about yourselves. Hello, we're Crystal and James Jordan out of Raleigh, North Carolina. We've been camping for about four years. We are here supporting the Adventure Bandits. Uh, their 2022 Glamp Out. Happy to be here and happy to have met Amp to Glamp. So we are so thrilled to actually have had, had the opportunity to, to meet them this weekend. Right. You guys are awesome. What is your favorite part of camping? Let's share the show. I'd like for you to share that with everybody. We like to camp at Carolina Pines in South Carolina. Everyone keeps saying that. We haven't been there yet. You have to visit that park. It's amazing. All the amenities, everything that you need. And even if you want to go off-site, you, you have amazing hiking opportunities there where you can actually hike in some of the trails. Lots of boating. So it's a great opportunity to actually visit Carolina Pines and do all those fascinating things. I love the nature of it. Yeah, yeah he does. I love it. Love it. And is Carolina Pines your favorite park too? Oh yes, it is. Yes, it, is? it is. Okay. Yeah, we really enjoy it. Well, thank you guys so much, and thank you for lending me your golf cart when I really, really needed a ride. Oh, you're no so problem. welcome. You're awesome. You guys having fun? <laughs> So we came across this really cool fifth wheel I have never seen before and the owner has said they're going to give us a tour so we're going to do that. My name is Will and uh, this is a 2018 Road Warrior 411 uh, toy hauler of course with the full body paint. Um, so just the normal pin box on a, for the toy haulers uh, does have the uh, side cameras so you can see 
you know, vehicles on your side as well as the rear camera. So it's got the integrated feature and all that. Uh, nice size um, storage. It's a little junky, but it's also where the TV slides out. And also the stereo for the outside speakers. And then the TV slides out on the mount so we can watch TV and kind of watch it wherever we need to. So it's pretty cool. That is really neat. I like yeah, that. So it's pretty cool. And it's really nice pass through. You can put a lot of stuff in there. It looks like so, it. Yeah. And it's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> and the other things it does is carries our uh, two scooters, which only have one here today, and then uh, our golf cart. And then just like most toy haulers, you got back deck. And then here we have the normal uh, gas station. Um, the one is for the generator. The other one is for uh, gas up your toys. Uh, 230 gallon tanks, or maybe 130, 120, can't remember. You can also use the one to gas up your generator one. So, the fuel thing, plug it into the other one, and that way you could. I'll put that up later. That's super cool. And then it's nice uh, electric reel, so, you know, cutting on that big cord down, just knock that over. And then uh, it is a dual slide and you'll see it's pretty, it is a pretty unique unit because it is wide open. Uh, most toy haulers have a separate room and as we go inside, this is a little different. So you have a lock on this, so, so you can so, use your key or the yes, touch pad? Yes on, on all of our doors, uh, we have the RV locks, which are pretty common nowadays. It, I don't know my pops up now, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's cool. Okay. I interrupted your pops uh, no I'm surprised worries. it didn't help. I know. Are you <laughs> like in every other toy hauler you're gonna see happy jack system so these fold down and this one goes up and you can allow uh and then bring that one down so you have multiple sleep multiple folks do you know do you actually put your toys in here yes it looks so really how uh, do you keep it so neat we just roll up the carpet and then it's a regular toy hauler floor with all the rings and everything that's down on the floor so the one thing that is unique about this unit uh that you'll see in my tour. Most of them will have a closed in the room, which which makes everything else smaller. And we specifically came coming out of a carbon, a Keystone carbon, uh, wanted the, the wide open space so you can seat multiple people around, everybody can talk. And that's what this one gives us. And it just gives you the freedom when we move around and you're not, you know, squinting by folks and things like that. So, uh, Three ACs. Wait, uh, so you have three air conditioners. Yes, ma'am. You have two in here? here? Yeah, two in here, then one in the bedroom, but they are all ducted. What's the okay. official term for this? So uh, they call it, it is the actual loading ramp, but they call it a party deck. A party yeah, deck? Yeah, they call it okay. a party deck. So you can go over just a sun deck, whatever you want to call it, but it's you know, pretty neat. Have you got, I, I could so, this is so cool, because like I could see you going to like a lake and like backing Absolutely. in and having the lake here, Absolutely. and then you just, oh. So, now, uh, because we only carry a golf cart and a scooter, the scooter will ride, the carpet pulls out, and actually you can see, that's what the floor looks like. It actually is sand from my trip up in Mer up in uh, Michigan, the sand dunes in Michigan. So the carpet still has got sand in it from our four-wheelers. But uh, we'll move the carpet over, scooters will go right here, and then the uh, golf cart will sit in the back. And so since we had a little extra room, and we wanted to get some heat back here without, you know, doing some things. We purchased one of these because this is the only thing that did not come with the unit that's here. The other thing we liked is the uh, wide open kitchen, full size refrigerator. Uh, not a residential, but most toy haulers. Because we're off grid, we did not want a uh, residential. I mean, that way we can switch between gas and electric. Mm -hmm. Normal microwave, convection oven normal oven i don't think we ever use not that i would use it my wife does everything <laughs> <laughs> most people i find uh, don't use the um yeah, oven yeah. ovens the, they're getting better like i think these are better than the one that was in my previous one that you couldn't it wouldn't circulate but i we have tried it. it we had we didn't have any success with the other one so we had not tried this we got, then with the convection oven there's really no need to to use it nice little you know 
incandescent lighting around it, so it was pretty nice. Uh, what? You're not paying me, so I, you know, the performance, you get what you pay for. <laughs> okay. Well, With a okay. smile. I'm, I'm just messing with you, John. Yeah, I was like, you're smiling. You're smiling. This is just me. Oh, I'm just having fun. This is why our videos That's are awful. like this. This is what happens. Are you going to do this? Oh, let's see. <laughs> Thanks for showing us the RV. This thing is great. I especially love that deck. Yeah. She loves the decks. Yeah. She loves the decks. So, what do I say now? Okay. See, this, this is what it is. Oh, this no, is... we're good. I appreciate we're it. Yeah. And, and he did have one last question I want to answer before you. Oh, yeah. I so, have one more you question. were asking about the vent because normally um, in toy haulers, you're gonna, they're going to be the garage is closed off. So, these are vents that actually you push in and you push out to oh. get to vent, like if you have a, a gasoline powered four wheeler or golf cart or something. Fumes. So, make sure you don't have the fumes in your unit. Since we have an electric golf cart, we don't have that problem. That's the first time I've ever opened it. <laughs> and there's also one down lower, so they have it cross. They call it cross flow. Okay, so that you makes get in the air, sense. Yeah, gonna go cross flow. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty excellent. Yeah. Thank you so Absolutely much. Awesome. I appreciate you like taking the time, like last minute without any notice, just yeah. kind of oh, showing no, us this no ring. Watch you guys. So it's great. <laughs> pretty much watch everybody that's around. <laughs> any YouTuber discovering uh, where to go different types of RVs and uh, you know best sites and things like that that you just need it for that good information so yeah we love it awesome all right. all right so John I think overall it was a really good trip to the glamp out it was good yes excluding all the issues that we had oh. with the trip coming here in the end I had a really good time I'm glad because that first day was terrible and we met a lot of good people. Yes. A lot of channels for you guys to go check out. Yep. Um, Root with Chuck and Cherie. We met um, the real weekend warriors, Forever Trippin', Sunriser and Snapshot, and TNT RVing. And of course, the stars of the show, the Adventure Bandits. Yes. And if I'm leaving anybody out, I am really, really sorry because I have a feeling, oh, we, we, met, we met the Banks, and then we met um, uh, the Windleys as well. Yes. And I'm going to put links to all of those different channels down in the description below so that you can go check them out. Because if you like us, you'll probably like a few of them as well. Yeah. And for more interesting videos about our travels, go ahead and check out this video right up there. Right. <laughs>